Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the LEGO Alpine Lodge. This is the 2023 edition to the LEGO Winter Village Collection. This set here is going to retail for $100 and it comes out on October 1st here in 2023. It has 1,517 pieces and it comes with five minifigures. You also get a red bird, a squirrel, and a cat. This set here was sent to me early by the LIGO group. Thank you so much, LIGO. I'm a huge fan of the Winter Village collection. I've got a lot of them and I can't wait to build a Winter Village. And of course, I'm gonna include that in my design. My initial thoughts are, it's a great price. $100, 1,517 pieces, some good minifigures, and honestly, a pretty good looking build. Starting with the five minifigures, four come with alternate faces, so that's good. The only one that doesn't come with an alternate face is this gentleman here in his like builder's apron. I really like his mustache and his glasses though. Also his uh, hat there. Some nice print detailing on his torso. Same with the lady to his left. It's a nice cozy looking sweater there. And then we've got the gentleman right here that comes with the skis. He's got a pretty colorful winter coat on there, a backpack and sort of like a receding hairline hairpiece, which is pretty nice. This little boy likes to go skating and uses hockey skates or hockey skates and hockey stick on the skating rink that this set comes with, so it's pretty neat as well. And then this lady here, she comes with like the nice gray flowing hair and also a little helmet that can be uh, put on her when she's ripping around in the little uh, skidoo that comes with this set. And it looks like she's got a nice cozy sweater there as well. So five like pretty basic minifigures. It's sort of what you would expect to get in a Winter Village set, but I do like the fact that they come with alternate faces. Look at the young lad's smile and also his hair. I like how you have the option of switching it up to the hair piece. It's quite the flow he's got there. Quite nice. Then she's got her helmet on. This guy's got a pretty funny alternate face. And then this one here is just sort of like the one where her eyes are closed or whatever. So in addition to the minifigures and of course the Alpine Lodge, we've got some accessories here. The skating rink. This skating rink was uh, a real nice build. It comes with these one by six by five glass panels. I think those are like, what, opal colored? It's just such a nice color. It gives that really cool shimmer to the ice. And this is all built like on its side. And the way that these plates are adapted is it's just built on uh, snot bricks. So on the bottom and top of those one by six by five glass panels, and on the side of them too, I guess, uh, there's uh, snot bricks and then you can just attach all of these plates to give the skating rink that interesting shape. So it's a really nice design. I also like the curved slopes and the tiles on the side there. Just a really nice skating rink, something a little bit more complex than just throwing tiles down. Like we've seen in the uh, Winter Village fire station and also in my Winter Village as well. Maybe if I do a skating rink this year, I'll have to try and up my game and I'll do one like that just because it is really nice. Then we have like the little dock here, right? Uh, because when this isn't frozen, <laughs> there's a little dock, I think. That's a little dock. It's pretty small for what it is, but just has a nice decoration, I guess. And then we've got this uh, snow-covered tree uh, that's built using some of those new fern elements which originated in the Rivendell set. Then just your basic little spruce tree there and also some additional pairs of skates right over there. Looks like you can rent them because there's a $100 bill on that bench as well. There's also like a makeshift snowman there. And then there's this outhouse, which I really like. Somebody mentioned in the comment section of my last video that it sort of looks like the outhouse from Shrek. And <laughs> I had a good chuckle at that. Uh, another one of those snow covered trees there. Uh, the roof is at a nice angle. It just uses one of those hinge elements. It's got a sticker on the door. And this is actually built using some snot techniques as well. The four by six modified plates on either side of the outhouse can actually very easily be removed. And see the studs that were holding it in spot there. The interior details, pretty basic, just a uh, circular tile there with a hole in the middle and then some toilet paper. Uh, some arches went into the construction of it. There's also that door frame in dark brown. So you actually start the build with these mini builds, specifically the snowmobile, which I actually like. The little treads in the back there built using some Technic pieces. It's just really well shaped. It looks like a legit snowmobile. And there's also this little sled that attaches to the back of it. And that was used to haul in the Christmas tree. So you actually build it originally with the snowmobile, but you can see that has been decorated and added to the Alpine Lodge. And it's interesting because it's actually like a story. You start by building the Christmas tree and also the little snowmobile. 
and then they haul the Christmas tree to the Alpine Lodge, and then they decorate it. And you decorate it way later on in the instructions. In fact, the very first thing that you build is the tree, and then you build the snowmobile. And one of the last things that you do is decorate the tree and place it in the lodge. So it's like you're telling a story as you're building the set, which I think is really neat. So far so good, hey? And we haven't even had an actual look at the Two Pines Inn or the Alpine Lodge. This thing just looks really good in my opinion. One thing you have to keep in mind is that this is an open back model, just like all of the other uh, Winter Village collection, right? So we're not gonna get a closed back modular building. It's just the way it is. And that's how they can keep this at that $100 price point, which I think is stellar once again. Uh, so this is actually the Two Pines Inn. That is a sticker element on a two by four uh, rounded tile. Really nice sign there with some snow on top and one of those like elvish pieces going over top of the snow and then some holly. There is uh, the entrance right here. Nice green door, the arch over top, the red shutters on either side of the window there. The wood cache with the angled covering which is snow covered, the chopping block, and the ax mounted to the wall there, and a really nice combination of light and dark gray uh, masonry work there. And then I like how it transitions into like the log house style, right? So this is all built using uh, snot bricks, and then these are all snot mounted in spot, and you just get so many of these modified bricks that are rounded whether they're one by twos or one by fours or one by ones. So there's a lot of nice pieces. Also a birdhouse, some windows with the white shutters that are surrounded by the dark red elements, a nice balcony there where you can see our squirrel and the banister for that balcony or the railing is in dark brown and it's snow covered once again with more of those modified rounded bricks, some decorations running along the top of the cabin there and the snow covered roof. I really like the depth of this roof as well. Like you can see there's the reddish brown with those modified curved slopes and then the dark brown behind that. It just adds a nice like contrast of color and also depth. And the interesting thing about the roof and just the way that this was all constructed here is this can actually just hinge right up and that will reveal all of the brickwork and slope work in that dark brown color. And then the parts that protrude off in the uh, reddish brown color are actually held in spot by uh, some brackets. See, these can actually be removed and that will reveal the brackets that hold them in place. And I just think that's a really nice way of adding a texture to the roof. But I just really like this exterior design, like the log cabin sort of feel, right? The way that these logs are all interlocked, like that is just really nice. This, a really neat way of doing that, right? With all those snot bricks and those rounded pieces. So on the ground floor, we've got our Christmas tree that's now decorated, right? Chopped it down, hauled it in with the snowmobile and decorated it. And then we've got some sweets over here, also a coffee machine and a massive fireplace. Like this thing is absolutely massive. It's got some depth. And the really nice thing about it is we can actually light it up. You can see all the flames within, and I'm lighting that, or activating that light brick by just pushing down on the uh, top of the chimney there. And I just think that's so cool because it's just a massive fire. I'd want to be sitting on one of these chairs right here, having some coffee, maybe a sweet there, and enjoying this blazing fire. Like, look at the depth on that thing. It's just massive. You also got the poker stick right there, Mo more decorations going around the top of it. And then on the second floor, we've got a bed, some bedside tables there, a little area rug. There's a, a sticker element right there. It looks like a present. And then another bed over here. And it almost looks like there's a window in the uh, chimney there, right? Well, that's actually where our light brick is. So when I push down like the activation button, you'll see that light brick light up. And you can also see a printed like log piece in there. There's actually two of them. And when I light that up, it comes through that little window there and also shines down. So it's actually really neat. I've pulled open the page on the instruction manual. So you can see the light brick is right there. You put some uh, trans orange tiles on it. 
and then you actually install it right there. So originally you would think like, oh, the light brick's somewhere down here, but it's actually up here, and it's lighting up two different places in this set, which I just think is really nice. Then we have the uh, green door, which is once again going on to that patio or balcony. And then on the top floor, nothing too crazy here, uh, just another bed, and once again, we can gain access to that by just pulling the roof up, and there's also a present. So honestly, like there's nothing too crazy in the interior. I like the Christmas tree and I love these little chairs here and also the coffee machine. I think the main highlight of the interior details is for sure the light brick, the fireplace, and just the way that that was constructed was really neat. The star of the show for me is, is the light brick and the chimney uh, and also the exterior design here. I just love this log cabin feel. And the minifigures are pretty cool as well. And same with the... Uh, skating rink and the outhouse right shrek would be happy once again that's pretty funny uh but yeah i just love the look of this uh, log cabin and also i think another really positive thing about this is the price hundred dollars fifteen hundred and seventeen pieces five minifigures and also some animals as well a uh, really neat story uh, some print pieces when it comes to like the wood and the wood cache which is nice uh, some cool sticker pieces and overall just some great designs and techniques that i really enjoy it would be cool to see a completed version of this maybe if somebody got more of these elements and actually completed the back of it but i think part of the fun of the holiday sets is actually you know seeing the interior details and and sort of having that open concept and placing your minifigures in here. So I don't know if it needs a closed back because all of the other ones aren't like that. And it's just sort of like on theme with the other Winter Village, uh, with the other sets in the Winter Village collection. Yeah, pretty cool, eh? What do you guys think of the Alpine Lodge? Let me know by commenting below. I think it's pretty cool. We got some great minifigures and some good accessories and a really good use of a light brick. Thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And farewell.